subscribe. Shut up. Hi there. My name is Adam, and I'm part of an awesome group of friends who met while playing our favorite Roblox game, Princess Tycoon. We've always had so much fun playing together. The beautiful girl standing below me is named Lana. I had a crush on her for two years. I always watch and care for her. But she never knew. It's a little sad, but it's okay, as long as she's happy. This guy with a sad face is Alex. He has social anxiety. He is afraid to talk to new people. That red chick is Lily. Lana and Lily have been best friends since they were young. And Lily is known to be quite talkative, but her kindness shines through. Our group is like any other group. Laugh together, fight together, cry together. But one day Lana mentioned that. It might be even more fun if we added another member to our group. Initially, I was a bit hesitant about this. But after thinking about with all the things we've accomplished as a team, I'm starting to warm up to this idea. But I didn't know that. Because of that new member, a lot of crazy things happened. Guys, guys, what if we added more people to our group? It might be even more fun. Great idea. The more, the merrier. Yeah, more friends means more ideas and more fun. I like it. Ugh, I'm not so sure about that. I think we're already a great team, and adding new people could change things. Ah, Alex, I know how you feel. But think of all the new friends we could make, and all the fun we could have together. We'll still be the same awesome team, but even better. No matter how many new people we add. Guys, can I tell you something? I saw this thing on TikTok. I'm just worried that it could happen to us too. Ah, Alex, tell us about it. We're here to listen and help you feel better. Okay, so like, when a new person joins a group, they might accidentally, like, change the whole group and everything will be messed up. And it makes me feel super scared that if we let someone new in, our group might not be as cool and fun as it is now. Oh, Alex. I get it. Change can be super duper scary sometimes. But you know what? We have been playing together for a long time. No one can ruin our friendship. That's right, Alex. Our friendship is super strong, and we won't let anything break it. Thanks, guys. You're the best friends ever. I feel a lot better now. I guess we can give it a try and find a new friend to join our super awesome team. Guys, I will add my boyfriend to the group. Don't be rude with him. She has a boyfriend. Don't, Don't worry. David Handsome 69 was added to the group. Hey Lana, why are you even playing this silly game? It's so childish. You can do better than this. The group members couldn't believe what they were hearing. Especially Adam, who had been secretly crushing on Lana for two years. Hey Jude, what the fuck? That's not cool. Why do you say that? If you don't want to play, you can leave the group. I don't care. Adam, stop being rude to David. But why do you care about it? Do you like that, Jeech? Hey, 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 stop. It's a bit far. Can we stop arguing and introduce ourselves? I'm sorry, David. Shut up, Jeech. Anyways, let's introduce ourselves. I go first. I'm David. I'm 17 years old. My parents is so rich. And I'm the most handsome here as you can see. Right, Lana? Oh, oh yeah. You're right, babe. I'm Lily, and I'm 16 years old. I've been Lana's friend since we were 10 years old. I'm Alex, and I'm 16 too. Lana and I met while playing Roblox about a year ago. Hey, I'm Adam, and I just turned 17 last month. I'm Lana. I'm 16 and I- Shut up, Jeech. Everyone knows. I don't care what you say. What I care about is Lily. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? What? What? Lily is much prettier than you. You haven't even seen Lily's face yet. Shut up. If you say that again, I'll kick you out of the group. David, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. What is wrong with you, Lana? He's treat you like SHJT. Why are you defending him? Hey, David, it's not cool to talk to Lana like that. Oh, please. Like you have any idea what's best for her. You're just a kid who plays some stupid game all day. Oh, are you like her? I, 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 at least we treat her with kindness and respect, unlike you. You don't even care about her feelings, and you're making her miserable. And what do you know about her feelings, huh? You're just a friend, Adam. Nothing more. Oh, my god. It really happening. Guys, please stop. We're all supposed to be friends here. Can't we just get along? Both of you. I never wanted this to happen. I just wanted everyone to get along and have fun. Please, let's stop this arguing. Lana's right. We're all friends here. And also, I don't think you're cool, David. 
Lana, do you choose me or choose these kids? Bye bye. Me or choose these kids? It's really tough to make a decision because every person in my life is incredibly important to me. Shut up. I'm leaving this group. David Handsome 69 leave the group. What just happened? I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Stop. I don't want to hear it. I'm sorry. I lost my temper. He's the one I love more than anything. I don't know why he suddenly treats me like that. I I. <laughs> Jesse forever joined the group chat. Lana, what's going on? Why are you crying like this? Tell me what happened. Lana wiping her tears. Tried to explain the situation to her sister. It's just, David and Adam got into a really bad argument. And then David left our group. I never wanted any of this to happen. Just wanted everyone to be friends and have fun together. Ugh, this bitch. I swear to God I'll give that bastard a billion punches. No one should ever make my big sister cry like this. Thank you, sis. I really appreciate your support. But I don't think you should do that. But it's okay. Hey guys, I want you all to meet my stepsister, Jessica. She's really nice. And I think she'd be a great addition to our group. Hi, Jessica. Welcome to our group. We're excited to get to know you. Hey there, Jessica. It's great to have you here with us. Adam's still feeling a bit hurt from the argument. Also welcome, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. It's nice to meet you. I'm sure you'll be a great friend to all of us. Hi, everyone. I'm Jessica. I'm 16 years old, and I'm Lana's stepsister. I just want to say that Lana is such an amazing person. She's always been there for me, and she is like a real sister to me. I love her so much, and she deserves all the best things in the world. That bastard doesn't deserve Lana. We totally agree, Jessica. Lana has always been a great friend to us, too. If I wasn't gay, I would probably have liked Lana. What? what? You gay? No, I'm not. I'm 100% sure I'm straight. It's kind of sus. Anyways, do you guys want to play any games? Sure. sure. How about a hood? I've never played it. Me too. I will teach you. Oh, okay. Join me, guys. They joined the hood and played for four hours. God, how fun is that? I should have played the hood sooner. Right. I know, right. We should play that game more often. Guys, it's getting late. Maybe we should go to bed. Good night, guys. Good, Good night. night. The group members all went to bed that night. But when morning came, they noticed that Lena hadn't come online. They started to wonder where she could be. Hey, has anyone seen Lana online today? She's usually here by now. I'm not sure where she is either. I haven't seen her this morning. She's probably just out buying something or taking care of things. I'm sure she'll be back soon. Yeah, let's not worry too much. In the meantime, why don't we play Mystery to together and wait for Lana to come online? The group agreed to play Murder Mystery to while they waited for Lana to return. Guys, it's been hours now, and Lana still hasn't shown up. Me too, this isn't like her at all. I'm going to try calling her again. Jesse, forever leave the group chat. We need to find out where Lana is and make sure she's okay. You're right, Adam. Let's see if we can find any clues or information that might help us locate her. Guys, it's not good! I found Lana's phone, and there's a message from David on it. It looks like he asked her to meet him at the park. Let me show you the message. Showing message from David. Lana, I'm so sorry for the rude things I said. I hope you can forgive me. Please meet me at Ohio Park at 9 p.m. I'll be waiting for you there. The group members immediately realized that this could be the reason for Lana's disappearance. Guys, I can't help but think that David has kidnapped Lana. Why else would she disappear like this? I hate to say it, but I think you're right, Lily. We need to find her and make sure she's safe. I can't believe this is happening. We have to save my sister. This must be where Lana went. We need to go to the park and see if she's there. You're right, Adam. We can't waste any more time. Let's head to Ohio Park now. Guys, we can't underestimate how dangerous David could be. We need the police to help us handle this situation. I will call the police. Hello, this is 911. What can I help you? Please help me, my stepsister, Lana. She was kidnapped. Please, try to stay calm. We're here to help. Can you tell us everything you know about Lana's disappearance? 
Lana received a message from her boyfriend, David asking her to meet him at Ohio Park at 9 p.m. He apologized for being rude to her and wanted to make amends. But since then, we haven't seen or heard from her. We're all really worried about her safety. Thank you for sharing that information with us. We'll do everything we can to find Lana and make sure she's safe. Do you have any recent pictures of Lana or any idea where David might have taken her? At Ohio Street Park. The police and the group of friends gathered to discuss their search strategy. All right, everyone, we're going to split up into teams to cover more ground. Each team will be made up of a police officer and one or two of Lana's friends. We'll search the entire park and any nearby areas where David might have taken her. That sounds like a good plan. We'll cover more ground that way and increase our chances of finding Lana. Remember, if you find anything or need assistance, Use your walkie-talkie to let the other teams know. We're all in this together, and our main priority is finding Lana and ensuring her safety. After only five minutes of searching, a police officer suddenly shouted. He announced that he had found one of Lana's shoes. About 100 meters away, there was an abandoned house. Everyone, listen up. We found one of Lana's shoes near this abandoned house. There's a chance she could be inside. Let's proceed with caught iron and approach the house quietly. We don't want to alert anyone inside. I can't believe we're so close to finding Lana. I hope she's okay. Me too, Jessica. We're all worried about her, but we have to stay strong. I just want Lana to be safe. I'll do anything to help her. As everyone approached the house, David, why are you doing this? What do you want from me? You think you're so special, don't you? Well, no one will save you. We need to move in now. Remember, our priority is Lana's safety. Be prepared for anything. You know what, Lana? I never really loved you. I was only with you because of your money. How could you, David? I thought you cared about me. You stupid girl. I never loved you. You're under arrest for kidnapping and assault. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Lana. We're so glad you're safe now. We won't let him hurt you again. We're all here for you, Lana. Hey, Jessica, you can stop pretending now. This whole kidnapping plan was your idea. Everyone in the room froze in shock and disbelief, turning their attention to Jessica. Jessica, what is he talking about? That can't be true, can it? No, that's not true. He's just trying to manipulate all of us. You know I would never do something like that. We'll have to investigate these claims. Jessica, you'll need to come with us to answer some questions. Fine. Yes, I was the mastermind behind the kidnapping. I did it because I was jealous of Lana. Everyone always loved and adored her, but not me. Our parents always gave her the best of everything, and I was left with nothing. That's why I planned to kidnap her. I can't believe it, Jessica. You are my sister. How could you do this to me? We trusted you, Jessica. We thought you were our friend. With tears streaming down her face, Jessica couldn't find the words to defend herself any further. The police officers took both her and David into custody for their crimes. The group was left reeling from the revelation, unsure of how to move forward from such a hair-breaking betrayal. Two months later, on a beautiful sunny morning, Adam finally found the courage to confess his feelings to Lana. Lana, ever since I met you, I've admired your kindness your strength, and your beautiful spirit. I've had feelings for you for a long time, and I can't keep it to myself any longer. Lana, will you be my girlfriend? Lana's eyes filled with happy tears as she smiled at Adam, saying, Yes, Adam, I would love to be your girlfriend. We knew it. We're so happy for you two. Congratulations! We can't wait to see the amazing journey you both embark on together. And they became a perfect couple. Love blossomed between them and they were able to move past the traumatic events that had brought them closer together. Six years later, Adam and Lana got married and welcomed the children into their lives. They named their children Zhao Ling and Chris. The end. Money or headphone? What is this? Obviously money. Error. <coughs> headphone chosen. Are you serious right now? Hey! Dad. Huh? What's wrong? Got two thousand dollars for no reason. Why? Oh, okay. You want to play? Or what? 
I just got more. It's weird. Oh, anyways, I'll go text my girlfriend. I probably get $1,000 every time I talk to someone or someone talks to me. But that's pretty cool, isn't it? So, see ya. Hey, why don't I get money when I talk up? Uh? Oh, hi. Did you pick the money or headphones? I remember it's your birthday so you had to get it. I picked the money two months ago and now I'm rich lol. You too? Um yeah, but do you maybe know what headphones mean? No I don't, because who would pick some headphones when you can get rich though? Yeah you're right, I'm just really curious. Well at this point, my bestie told me a myth that who picks headphones will. You picked headphones? Um no continue. No way. I don't wanna be seen with someone who picked headphones. Bye, loser. Ugh, I'm so stupid. Who told you that? Girlfriend, way to debt. Daniel? When is your birthday? Tomorrow, why? Is everything okay? You seem worried? Nah. Well, happy early birthday. Uh huh? It is adorable. Anyway, what happened with you and your girlfriend? F up with me because I chose headphones choice i will choose it too tomorrow so you won't feel stupid you wait i'll go sleep good night sleep well oh. i have to know what will happen if i picked headphones i have to contact my ex's bestie wait i have her username okay i'll just join her oh hello hey pretty boy do you want friends if you then yes all right anyway do you know what happens if I pick headphones? Yeah, I do know. But before I say it, you have to kiss me right now. Oh, he is in a game. I join him cause I can't sleep. Here he is. I'll go say hey. Hey. Right now or never. Ugh, fine. Damn. Oh, I'm well. I can't keep doing this. I'll just pick the money and block him. I have to go sleep now. I'll do it later. This was nice. Did you eat onions? Um, yes, I guess. So tell me what headphones mean. Well, if you pick them, you will get money every time you talk to someone who likes you. But I don't know if it's true, though. <gasps> um. Go away, ugly bjeech. I have to contact Adet. Wait, she joined the game before? Oh, no, that's bad. Very bad. I have to talk to her. Wait, she blocked me? I'll send her a friend request. Three months later. I should stop trying. No way she will accept it. I'll just join a game. How about Da Hug? I'll try to make some friends. Hey. Oh, hello. You want to be friends? I'm sure. Seven months later. Happy seven months, Boo Boo Bear. Help, lol. Happy seven months, Mommy Honey. Mommy Honey, I'm done. Ha <laughs> ha's. Anyway, do you want to join my group chat? They have the same humor as us. All right, at me. Shut the hell up. That's why you got no jeeches. Did you're the one who wants me? Oh yeah? Yeah. I come over. Debt. Guys please not today. What's good? Oh hey guys. That's my best friend Daniel. Hey, I'm Violet. I'm Aria. Aria everyone knows. Oh anyways. This dumb emo jeech is it Julian. I can speak by the way. I'm Gabriel. And the other girl? She basically gets online one time a week but it's a debt. Oh pretty name. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> This got awkward. Lol for real. French Revel. You guys want to face time and play truth or dare? Why when we can meet up? You're so smart, baby girl. Jeech. I think she wants me. Oh, hey guys. Her Daniel, voice reminds here's a debt. You can meet her now. Hello. Dan, is everything all right? Oh, yes. Hey, a debt. Hey. Um. Anyway, you guys want to meet up? Yes. No. Why not? Because I don't want to. Oh, okay. Let's unplay um, play Dahut. Yes, sure. Okay. No, sorry. All right. Daniel, what's wrong? What do you mean? You started acting weirdly since you met Adet. If I do, then it's not any of your business. Yes, it is. I'm your best friend. Who told you that? Oh, hey, guys. Yes? Me? I mean, do you still like me? What do you mean by that? Any of your business, what? Do you like me? Up so fast. I really thought you changed. By that a debt. I wanted to start my life over, but you came to ruin it again. Look what you have done. My fault. I care about your love. Can you stop liking me, huh? 
Bro dude, what have you done? For real? Yes, what happened? They both like me, but I don't either of them. Was it so hard to tell it to them nicely? Yes, it was you don't understand anything. Well then explain. No, get lost. I have to find them. He hurt Arya so badly, and I feel bad for her. I think that I like her. I should go and comfort her. No, that's dumb. She likes that Daniel. I'll spy on him to see what he's up to. I feel like a monster even though I didn't do anything. I can't control anyone's feelings. I still have to apologize to both of them. What do you mean? Where did you come from, stalker? You can see me. Where did the tree go? Did you just call me a tree? No, you are not a tree. Thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. Anyway, you should. I should. You should apologize. For being a tree? No, for hurting Arya. I was about to until you started insulting me. Oh my bad. Go now. Yeah, okay. I gotta find them now, but a debt first. The hood, of course. Oh wait, I see her. A debt. What do you need now? You ruined my life. How? I literally liked you and you blocked me out of nowhere. And I can't control Arya's feelings too. Out of nowhere, you kissed her in front of me. I just needed answers so we will be happy. What answers? Why I got money every time I talked to you. Oh. And then I found out it's because you liked me. I couldn't do anything cause you blocked me. I tried for months though. I'm sorry that I didn't give you a chance to apologize. I have to explain everything to Arya though. I don't want her to be sad. Can I come with you? I'll help you. Sure. Um, I don't think she is sad. Yeah, um, let's go, babe. 